Hi guys, I'm Dr. Moran Chiamama Sagiv, KIP by Dr. Sagiv. Knowledge itself is power, KIP. Let's talk today about different ways, I call them dynamics, that a skeletal muscle can produce force and also influence the joint. Skeletal movement is created through the joints by skeletal muscles. They're called skeletal muscles because they influence the skeleton muscles that influence the skeleton. There's a video, the intro to motion analysis that explains that. Take a look at it. You'll learn something new. So there's five basic dynamics that teach us how muscles can produce uh, force or strength and work and how it relates to the joint. We'll begin by explaining the idea of concentric muscle contraction. First of all, please know that the word contraction, uh, contrary to what it necessarily means in English, in physiology or exercise physiology, uh, motion analysis, etc., kinesiology, etc., means that the muscle is producing force. So contraction is not necessarily getting smaller rather than producing force. So when a muscle contracts, it's producing force. A muscle can, can, can produce force while getting shorter, longer, not, and not changing its uh, length. So let's start analyzing. Concentric muscle work. Con means towards. Centric, the center. So the muscle is going to produce force while shortening it's moving towards the center of the muscle, the sarcomeres, the, the, the smallest unit that produces force uh, actively in a muscle is shortening. As it's shortening, it's creating force, okay? Most concentric muscle work is associated with a decrease in the angle of the joint, which uh, correlates to movements called flexion and usually concentric muscle work means you're overcoming the resistance of gravity and you're bringing something closer to the body. So they're very common in what we call hug movements where you're hugging someone and bringing something close to the body. Eccentric muscle work or force production, EC, a prefix that means away from or outwards from centric from the middle in this case the muscle is producing force as it elongates this correlates with an increase of the uh, angle of the joint movements that we call extension and what we call push movements where we are moving something away from our body the third option is what we call isometric work Iso means the same or no difference. Isometric, meaning that the length of the sarcomere, the length of the muscle is not changing. It's keeping itself the same the whole time, but it's still producing force. And that means that we're not going to see any movement of the joint. There's going to be no change to the angle of the joint, but there's going to be force produced. And this force has to go somewhere. And since we're not working dynamically, there's no change in the length of the muscle, this force is most likely going to disperse or be concentrated on the same point and increase the pressure in the area. For that reason, it will also include, increase blood pressure. We use isometric work when we want to hold something without it moving. For example, when you are carrying your groceries, from the store to the car, usually we hold the bags uh, in one place and don't let them move. That is isometric work. The next option is isotonic work, where the muscle produces force, but it produces the same force throughout the whole range of motion. So no matter what the angle of the joint is, the muscle is going to produce the same force. And this is also a form of dynamic work. So you can work isotonically, concentrically, 
and you can work isotonically, eccentrically. The next option is isokinetic work of a muscle. So the muscle is going to produce force, it's contracting, but it's creating movement at the same pace. Not necessarily producing the same amount of force throughout the whole range of motion, but the change in the angle of the joint is the same for every second. So let's say you're moving at 3 degrees per second or 20 degrees per second. So you might be moving faster or slower or creating movement that is faster or slower, but the number of degrees per second is the same. And that means isokinetic muscle work. And once again, isokinetic is a dynamic form of producing a force in the muscle. You can work isokinetically concentrically, and you can work isokinetically eccentrically. Guys, visit my website www.kitbydrsagiv.com. Follow me on Twitter, Kit by Dr. Sagiv. Subscribe right here and now so you are notified when uh, new videos are added and we're adding videos all the time. Uh, let me know what you thought. Questions. Let's talk about it. Is there any debate? Is there any conversation going on? Is there a certain topic you'd like me to explain? Let me know. I'm waiting. See you around, guys. <laughs>